I'm not sure what that was. I'm not sure what what was. Uh, the, the people at home would have seen that because I'm probably going to cut it because you were talking about behind the scenes stuff. Uh huh. But there was a weird groaning noise happening. Oh, and, I just thought that was you getting no. frustrated. <laughs> no, it came up with subtitles. It was like. <sighs> so, so it was like, it was like, what? I don't know what that was. That, that I've was, never seen that before. I don't know, but that was better than my guinea pig impression. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Your guinea pig impression is impeccable. I make the best guinea pig noises. This is where I want to go. Where's the bird there? Ooh, shiny! Get the shiny! Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, cool. So why are we going back to the asylum? Uh, why not? I kind of feel like we're already in an asylum. Everybody's just like... Ah, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna everybody's fall, just fall. like dead casual and like, yeah, whatever, shit happens. And But nobody seems to fucking explain what's going on. Even the lore is really struggling here. I am struggling with this. You're struggling to learn the lore? I'm struggling to learn the war. The war? The lore. There's a war! Don't talk about the war, Catherine. <laughs> Don't mention the war. No? It is. It's felt like hours. I know. I know what it was from. But now I've lost my point. There's a war. There was a war. Was there? What was the war called? The War of Fire. Shockingly. Shocked. <sighs> I'm shocked about this War of Fire. <sighs> Anything over here? All no. oh, right. So because right. Okay. So, so the three lords, not the fourth one, the Dark Soul. But all right. What? Just, There's nothing happening here. I'm just, I'm just chilling. That's weird. No, it's fine. I'm right, just okay, chilling out. So the fourth lord just kind of fucks off and does his own thing. Right. The three others challenge the dominion of the everlasting dragons. The lords allied with one of the dragons, Seath. The scaleless, who sought the immortal scales of the dragons and thus betrayed his own kind. So, in other words, he was jealous because he didn't have any scales for himself. Okay. He's I've very just sad. been abducted by a bird. I noticed. You look pretty fucking petrified there. <laughs> he thinks I'm an egg. Maybe it's she actually. She thinks I'm an egg. But then why is she moving you into the other. Because. Why did she, she split her nests? eggs? Because she's cool as fuck. Okay. Did you get the trash for her? I've already done that ages ago. Alright. Anyway, continue. Okay, so... A very long and destructive war was begun by the lords and their amassed armies. Gwyn used his powerful bolts to peel their stone scales, while the Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos wove great firestorms against them, and finally, the Grave Lord Nito unleashed a miasma. Miasma. A miasma of death and disease upon the dragons. The war was won by the lords, and the dragons went nearly extinct. A golden age of fire begun as the world rebuilt under the new rule of the of the now as deities perceived lords. Right, so they were seen as gods at this point. Oh, don't tell me it was those three gods that have fucked us up. I'm gonna get really pissed off here because they're very selfish. That's all I'm getting from this. So after the defeat of the Everlasting Dragons, Gwyn established the land of Lordran, which is where you were before you've just gone back to the asylum, yeah? Mm -hmm. And granted Seath the title of Duke, along with part of his Lord Soul for his contribution to the war. He also gave another part of his Lord Soul as well as the mm. titles of King to four kings, the leaders of New Londo. Is that like the continent or in New Londo? Uh, New Londo. Yeah. There's another place called an Orlando. Alright. Where we'll go. Neat. Okay. Sorry, am I to continue? Uh, hold on a second. I swear to God, is this- Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not this one again. Remember what you gotta do? I don't know what I gotta do. 
You gotta smack it. The first thing is uh, not is, die. Is die immediately. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that, that was obvious. That is, that <laughs> yeah, he's just chilling there like, hi. Right. <laughs> I want to be... Oh, no. Are you okay? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no. So, are you, are you okay? I'm going to have to get back there now. Yeah, you are. Oh, dear. Please keep telling us the story, Catherine. Anyway. I'm now. Okay, so... So, the dragon gets part of a soul, a title of duke, for his contribution to the war. He also gave part of his lord's soul as well as the titles of king to the four kings, the leaders of New Londo, in recognition for their foresight. Gwyn resided in the capital city of Anor Londo and had three children. Lord Gwyn's firstborn, Old God of War, who was stripped of his de deific status and erased from history for his foolishness. He is closely related to the warrior of Sunlight Covenant and inherited the sunlight from his father. You've got Guinevere, Princess of Sunlight, who later married Flame God Flan. <laughs> Flan. <laughs> Flame God Flan. <laughs> and presumably left the land with them. Cool. Dark Sun Gwendolyn, who was raised as a girl for his affection to the moon. What? Well, the rest of the, the first two are associated with the sun. He was raised as a girl for liking the moon more than the sun. All right. Basically, I, I he's backward. Basically, he's, they would think he's gay. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a bit. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a bit. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I suppose it's good that they've supported his, you know, preference and. If he you wants, know? if he wants to be a moon bro, then let him be a moon bro. Yeah, I, I feel like they've supported him in that. Although, fine, all right, okay, cool, good for them. Promoting acceptance and shit. <laughs> um. Anyway, the age of fire began prosperous and rich, but soon the fire started to go out again, and with them the power of the lords. In an effort to prolong age of fire, the witch of Isolith tried to recreate the first flame, but the experiment failed and a flame called the Flame of Chaos is created instead, which transformed it into the Bed of Chaos and many creatures into the demons that roam Lordran. Right. Her children are transformed as well, with her son becoming a flame demon called Ceaseless Discharge. <laughs> Ceaseless Discharge, Excuse sorry. Me? Ceaseless Discharge. Is something funny? No. Oh. Was there not a guy in here that used to speak that spoke? Yeah, you mean this guy? I thought we killed him. We I killed did. him. I thought we did too. Oh well, we kill him again. Or did we just make him go insane by killing him that time? Maybe. Anyway, ceaseless discharge and her daughter Quaylag and her sister partially into spiders. Ugh. Is that why all these demons look messed up? Because they were actually human? Do you think? That's why they uh, look so weird. Could be. Never thought about them. Well, if these are all like the, the witch's followers and stuff like that that turn into these demons, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Her followers stay loyal to her, however, and become known as the Witches of Chaos. Only her daughter, Quilana, escaped the fire and becomes the mother of pyromancy. Is she not the one that's then not talking underneath the... No, that's a firekeeper. Alright, okay. Um, slightly different. Okay. Gwyn, in a final effort to save the Age of Fire, marches with a great deal of his army to, to the kiln of the First Flame and sacrifices himself to link with the First Flame, turning the kiln to ash and incinerating his entire army, making them the Black Knights who later walk Lordran. The attempt is only somewhat successful, however, as the Age of Fire was only extended for a short period of time. Gwyn became a hollow and is from then on known as Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. So is he a hollow as an insane hollow or hollow like us? Because uh, they, they're calling know. him a hollow, so that would presume he was what, mad, insane? The four kings become corrupted and were seduced by evil at some point after Gwyn's fall, and their servants turn into dark wraiths. 
In an effort to stop them, Yolanda was flooded with all of its population, trapping the four kings with their dark wreaths into the abyss. Right. That makes sense. It does how... You'll see. Just remember that it was flooded. With its, with the population of the people? Mm-hmm. Okay. That'll, that'll make sense later. So we're in New Londo now. This asylum we're in is New Londo. No, this... Is it? It must be. No. I don't think it is. I think New London's near Lordran. I think you can reach New London from Lordran. New London is the continent, though. Is it? I'm pretty yeah. Hmm. Because, because he turned the ki he turned them into the four kings were the leaders of New London. So this is New London then. Right, guys, if you if you want to give us a hand here, you know, comment, subscribe, like. Can you God, stop was, fucking dying? That was not smooth at all. Catherine. That was it's like, comment, subscribe. Is it? Yes. Right. Try again. Sorry. So, guys, like, comment, and subscribe, please. <laughs> Say it with feeling, Catherine. Just fucking like us. Is that better? <laughs> did I do it? Like, I guess maybe you did it. Okay. Maybe. Just, just run, run the fuck away. I don't know what I'm doing. In its butt. Remember, this is just like before. You just like before, only he's a bit stronger this time. Only you got He's a bit bigger as well. Only smack him in the booty. That is that 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 butt's disturbing. <laughs> oh. He also has this move. Okay, so soon after the deities began leaving Lordran. Gwendolyn was the only one of Gwyn's children to stay behind. Seath, who became obsessed with his research and experiments, amassed countless tombs and was eventually driven mad by his research. He became a powerful sorcerer and the grandfather of sorcery. At least a thousand years pass and the events of Dark Souls begins to unfold. Oh, for fuck's sake, that doesn't even tell us anything! I've read all of that out loud. Well, it tells us the, the backstory. It tells us the backstory. Of why we're doing this. But no, it, all it tells us is that people got selfish and greedy and this fourth Dark Soul guy is obviously was working behind the scenes while everybody was up in the dragon's faces and doing stuff. <laughs> Are you okay? I didn't do any damage there. None. Look at how much I did. I know. I think I'll just take my souls and leave. How do you leave that bit though? See me left last time. Oh no, my soul spawned down there. I need to go back down. Okay. Dodge. Excuse me, park me. Oh, that is unavoidable. Just claim Thank your you. souls, die, and we'll try again next time. 